things that God is doing, but this one really hit home because it was from my sister-in-law. And I'll call her my sister in grace. And LaShonda Stokes. And uh, it's just so awesome. It says, Pastor Lee, I just wanted to jump on the faith bandwagon and give my testimony about Maurice Jr. Is MJ over there? Come here, MJ. MJ, if you're over there, run over here, son. Run over here, son. He, was, he stayed at my house last night. Come here, nephew. Come here, buddy. <laughs> I love this boy so much. Look how pretty he is. Isn't he handsome? <laughs> boy, give me some of that hair right there. Listen what your mama wrote me. She said, I just wanted to jump on the faith bandwagon and give my testimony about Maurice Jr., a.k.a. MJ. It says, we had his six-month checkup today, and they, the doctors, are in awe on how well he is doing. See, here's the amazing thing. Many of y'all never knew he was diagnosed with anything. He was diagnosed at birth with sickle cell anemia. And they gave him a bad, bad report, you know. And they said he would have all these problems and all this stuff. And it looked like that for the first few years of his life. How old are you, MJ? You're seven now, aren't you? Seven years old. But the first few years, we would visit Marty and LaShonda in the hospital. Every month in the hospital, him hooked up with little things running in his veins. And he could, he'd get to the point where he couldn't move his arms or his hands. And it hurt his back. And you see swelling and all kinds of bruises and all kinds of stuff. And... Every, I mean, it would, without fail, every month we'd be in the hospital visiting him. And LaShonda would be up all night praying for him. And finally, Marty one day said, that's it. I've had enough. I'm done with this. And he got his family together and they prayed. And they agreed together, grab hands with MJ too. He said, that's it. We curse this. And we declare he's healed. Let me read what, this, what the doctor says. They told me that if it wasn't for the fact that they have documentation that he was diagnosed with sickle cell anemia, that they would think that he had never had the disease. <laughs> As a matter of fact, he's doing, <laughs> hey, how are you doing, baby? Praise the Lord. I've got anointing for children now, you know. As a matter of fact, he's doing so well that they want to use him as an example for other families that are reluctant to try this experimental drug. Now watch, they're, they're, of course they're saying it must be that experimental drug. Now this experimental drug is, has done nothing for other people, would make them sick and do nothing. But with MJ, come on, we know what the real deal is, right? My brother gets up every morning and receives communion with his family before they go to work and before they go to school. Every day they lay hands on each other. They're praying and declaring him healed and well. Watch this. He says, uh, in fact, he's doing so well that they want to use him as an example for other families that are reluctant to try this experimental drug on overcoming the fear that the drug may not work for their child because it hasn't. You listen? They asked... LaShonda, if I would be willing to come to Wake Forest and speak in seminars. <laughs> they're so amazed at what's gone on in this child's life. I want y'all to give, stand up and give God a big shout of praise. Why? Because not only will he do it for a little boy like this, he'll do it for you too. He's already done it. Love you so much, nephew. Say it out of your mouth. Say, I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm well. Amen. Come on, give Jesus a big shout of praise. Love you, beautiful. <laughs> blessings, blessings, blessings. You can be seated. Praise the Lord. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Have you been looking for a church that's a part of the grace revolution where the focus is Jesus, his finished work, and not the law? You've been looking for destiny. Destiny 2401 Randall and River. Sunday service time, 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Bible study, Wednesday night at 7 p.m. For more information, log on to leestokes.org. You've been looking for destiny. Where the focus is Jesus, his finished work, and not the law. You've been looking for destiny.